Good morning. It is 1019 a.m. on Sunday, August 15th, 2021. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just got up. This is five more minutes. There's a motorcycle outside. Probably can't hear it on the through my microphone, but it was pretty loud in here. So last night we had our So Many Levels Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, and sure enough, it was not the finale. We're going to do the finale in two weeks uh, because we, all, we would be missing a player next week. Um, but it's a uh, big, big final confrontation time, and I, I feel like we uh, adequately, you know, uh, I, I feel like I adequately communicated that, and the party seems to all have that, that mindset. And, uh, you know, this is a you know, a big determined, like, we're going to, we're going in and we're going to go do this thing, but there's a gauntlet to be run beforehand. And, um, yeah, it's, it feels pretty good. Uh, there's a lot, some very tactical combat last night that seems to get everyone kind of pumped for that. And, uh, yeah, it was good stuff. Good stuff for sure. And, uh, then today I have the, the third installment of four, for my Avatar Legends game, so looking forward to that. And uh, then I also yesterday played a bunch more of Subnautica, which is an interesting game because uh, a friend of mine called it a horror game, and I, I think it, I feel like that's overstating it, but it's certainly true that there are parts of it that are very scary, especially depending on your your tolerance for being in the depths of the ocean where it's so dark you have to only depend on whatever lights you bring with you to see and uh, that's yeah it's interesting because uh, I, I think I talked about this before but one of my favorite film writers film crit Hulk wrote a piece talking about the Subnautica games compared to the uh, what's it uh, Outer Wilds because I think that there is definitely some similarity between the two in the sense of exploring an area, having this wonder of discovery in certain places, having to kind of solve, you know, figure out how to get through various challenges environmentally and sort of picking up the story as you go. And, uh, and it being very sandboxy in the sense that um, you can go all sorts of places to begin with. And uh, Subnautica is a little bit more Metroidvania uh, than, than Outer Wilds in the sense that there are some places that you really can't get to until you have built the appropriate gear. So, like, you can't get into the wrecked ship until you have built a laser cutter that will let you get through the sealed doors. You can't explore this one sunken habitat until you've created a vehicle that will give you, uh, that, you know, will be able to withstand the depth at that uh, uh, pressure. And uh, uh, whereas Outer Wilds is gated pretty much exclusively by knowledge, I think, uh, I'm, tr you know, I haven't replayed it in a little bit, but I think in principle, like if you know all of the puzzles, like if you have the whole game memorized from the start, you could theoretically beat it on your first go through. Like it, it has a little bit of a, a looping effect in that one, but you know, you wouldn't have all of that information if you're playing it for the first time. And so a lot of, a lot of that exploration comes to like, well, you're going off down what turns out to be a dead end, but it's a dead end that gives you a piece of information that allows you to solve a puzzle somewhere else. And so it's, it's good. But the, the, the reason that I got into this comparison again is because both of them really do seem to balance this sense of wonder and sense of discovery and the beauty of their environments balancing them with existential terror and it really comes down to which one you find more scary comes down to which do you find more scary being crushed in the lightless depths of the ocean or being helpless drifting lost in space uh with no air like neither you don't have air in either one which i think is is an interesting like it's it's there's that similarity too that you have to manage your air supply in both cases 
And I think in my case, which one scares me more? It's definitely the ocean. Uh, especially there's places in the ocean where it's so deep that it's, there's no light from above. And what you end up in, uh, in, in a situation is that you pretty much have to hug the, the floor in that area, which can have you be pretty deep. Because if you can't go that deep and be on along the ground, you're just basically hovering in a lightless void and you can't see anything anywhere and you hear stuff out there in the water. It's pretty cool. I like it. So I'm going to leave it there and I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.